There's something for everybody. There's something for all ages, and, and that's what's that's one of the beauties uh, of the complex. This is a destination. This is a place where people can come and be involved with a number of activities, whether they're visiting the animal shelter, then to the farmer's market, and then coming for a walk in the district park. People have a one-stop place basically out here now. They had their sights on really developing this wonderful neighborhood. late 90s, um, the county was really looking for a home for community schools and recreation. Our program had really grown and, and again that's a cooperative program between the county commissioners on the Board of Education and the department responsible for county recreation and so we really needed a, a, a home for that department. We went many years with no home. Um, with, we, you know, we moved from place to place and everything was done in schools. So while we have access to most school facilities, we don't have access while children are in school. And also the Council on Aging, because Council on Aging was looking for property at the same time. What's important for people to understand is the uh, Council on Aging is a nonprofit. So we were, uh, the county was looking for a facility, an area that we could coordinate all these different programs together. And that's, that's when a task force really was, was commissioned I'd, I'd certainly like to see this board appoint a committee and, and include your board members on it to try to work out something where the, the two centers can go together and, and have a real nice center for, for Pitt County, you know, senior citizen and recreation. Phil Dickerson, the county engineer at that time, chaired that task force along with uh, James Rhodes, our planning director, and then members of the community schools and recreation staff and advisory council, and also the council on aging site location and we have a little table as well as a map that shows us how far it is from everything. Very good location. We looked at the county home complex which was something that the commissioners had you know had in their position for many years and uh, in turn it it was the right place for this centrally located and that's a major component when we're trying to get these recreation facilities as accessible to our citizenry as possible. This location is within five miles of 56 percent of the citizens in our county and within 10 miles of 84 percent of the citizens in our county. So very centrally located. So that task force made a recommendation back to the commissioners and at that, at that time they granted um, acreage here at the county home site for both the Council on Aging and for Community Schools and Recreation for a center and also uh, designated property to later develop for, for a park. All in favor of the motion, as understood, say aye. Aye. Any opposition? When the, when the funding came along for the Community Schools and Recreation Center, that kind of gave us a, a broader perspective on what this whole complex could become and that's, that's kind of where we started. Currently we have the Pitt County Council on Aging, the Senior Center, Community Schools and Recreation uh, Center with our district park. We have our community garden, which has been a tremendous resource and asset for Pitt County. On the, the west side of, of our complex, we have the animal services with animal shelter and spay today. We have our farmer's market, which has recently been expanded. We have our Eastern Carolina Village and Farm Museum, which is another uh, great addition to our complex. And then we have two elementary schools. We also have recycling and solid waste. And for recycling, this is the largest recycling solid waste center uh, in our county. It's very important to have a recycling center part of the complex because it provides a means for people to get rid of the recyclables. It also shows that Pitt County is trying to be green and it helps with uh, the park and their recycling efforts. Pitt County has been so fortunate with our departments working together. We didn't have money to go out and hire a commercial planner to do our master plan. So what we did was the planning department, community schools and recreation, 
worked along with East Carolina with our Recreation and Leisure Studies Department and, and did our first plan and updated that plan in 2003 and then again in 2015. So we, we were, even for our plans, we were using the resources that we have internally. And those plans were very key in developing not only the park, but in further developing the whole complex. Planning for, for us in Pitt County and Parks and Recreation has been hand in hand. Planning's involvement certainly started with a mapping exercise. What's currently on site, so it's not, not unlike a lot of other planning exercises we go through. What's the existing lay of the land? What are the existing land uses? So after mapping that out, I won't say that that had all been done on one general map before. Um, it might have just been specific to a school site or another land use. Getting all those on a map, uh, it then showed where areas of expansion could be uh, for any of these uses. How could other uses come in? How do they interplay? And especially, how do they interconnect? When we, when we got the grant to develop the district park, we immediately went to our colleagues in the city to see how we could get an extension to the Greenville Greenway. The city policy says that if you have an extension or if you're on the Greenway plan, then when property surrounding the facility is developed, then it has to provide connectivity for, for the Greenway plan. So a planning director, community schools and recreation director, worked hand in hand to go through the process with the city, about a four or five month process to get an extension from the Greenville Greenway to the district park. What that does is when the property that's north of the park is developed, then that means the developer will have to provide connectivity to, to the park. And when we have connectivity to the park, that's connectivity to the whole entire complex. We've had a lot of good success in getting some of these uses better connected through walkways and paths and our crosswalk across County Home Road, given that the large parcel is bisected by County Home Road, a crosswalk with DOT's assistance in getting that established is something that you just won't see in many areas. So all these things started working together. That's when all these different partners started talking and wanted to make sure we've got a healthy area for folks to come and a very safe area too where we've got even some kindergartners crossing the road to get to some of the activities on the opposite side. As far as safety is concerned, I think that our schools was, they were taken into account when this building and this complex was made. I think there was a great deal of forethought in that they wanted our schools to be able to access this complex and the garden. We are very fortunate in Pitt County to have departments that truly work together. It's not about something that's on paper. It's about departments who take their resources and their expertise and work hand in hand with other departments. And this, the district park and this whole complex is, is a real example of how that works in, in real life. As we went through trying to determine just anything con concerning the garden, we always ran it by James because James would know if there was a regulation in place that affected it. So they were very helpful and then they did a lot of the sketches and the, um, the maps, the plans, they pr produced all of that for us. The planning department probably had about the biggest role in getting the location for the Pitt County Farmers Market. It was a unbelievably smart move. They were looking first at Highway 11 where, by Pitt Community College, and they're like, mm, no, we don't think we want to go there. So they brought them out, brought the farmer's market people out here, which was really a great insight because they gave us such a beautiful area that could grow and expand that was an incredibly smart move, putting the farmer's market where they placed it out here on County Home Road. We talked to the county engineer at the time and, and that was Phil Dickerson. 
you know, he, he was very instrumental in all of this happening. He had walked around with us some, and he said, well, how would you like this piece of property? And it's the site that we're on now. We got to our new home, and what a wonderful neighborhood. And we thoroughly love where we are, because the, the village was hidden at the fairgrounds, uh, and it was only open uh, publicly once a year, and that was when the fair was going on. I think just being placed out here, the shelter in its current location is a wonderful to help us meet our goals, mainly because of the social interaction and the presence that people can find out about us, whether we're across the street using the walking trails or if we're having an event in this building. We have had adoptions result just from people seeing us whether they were originally there to visit Pitt County Animal Services, but then they realize we're across the street or we're in the area, or if we happen to be using one of the other facilities. So we do have success stories. It's easy even riding by on County Home Road and seeing folks on the walking trail, seeing folks at the farmer's market, stay here for a while, watch a ball game, go on a walk, get involved in the community garden, visit the farmer's market. It's just so many activities out here and that's what we want to continue to see grow. What a wonderful way to continue the legacy of our forefathers who bought this property, who originally it was, it was for the health and wellness of the citizens in our county. And when we look back today, we see that same kind of care from our county that we are providing um, many services that contribute to health and wellness. So across the lifespan, we are continuing that legacy of the county taking care of its citizens. If you could put a banner across what we do in the county home complex, it's about eating smart and moving more and, and all the different components that, that filter into that opportunity for our county. As the president of the American Planning Association, I am so proud and so honored to bring national recognition to a leader among rural counties in North Carolina. You have, through thoughtful and deliberate planning, created a facility that promotes sustainability, healthy eating, and physical activity among people of all ages. Great Places in America is our flagship program of the American Planning Association. We celebrate places of exemplary character, quality, and design. Our Great Places are selected annually and represent the gold standard of community involvement, cultural and historic interest, sense of place, and most importantly, a legacy of exceptional planning. We really look at characteristics such as architecture, community programming, and environmental practice, which consider factors such as geography, demographics, and local context. County Home Complex stood out as a clear example of planning that is helping to create stronger and more vibrant communities. At the core of every well-planned public space is strong community engagement, collaboration, and support. And out of the collaborative effort that's led by planning, community schools, and recreation, the engineering departments, it really came the concept to designate a parcel of the county home property for parks and recreation development and the Pitt County Senior Center. Over time, partnerships with the public health department Cooperative Extension, the Board of County Commissioners, and others have led to, as you've heard, over 100 acres plus of this county home complex that we are here to celebrate and we will continue to value every day. The county home ho complex is an impressive, multi-generational community gathering space that brings together nearly 17,000 adults and youth for its 175 community schools and recreation programs and 40,000 participants through the center, Senior Center's 3,000 programs. I mean, wow, that you talk about making an impact there. 
So from your community garden, 600 pounds of produce is donated annually to the county soup kitchen. Safe, accessible park space, walking trails, and rural crosswalks connect this space to your schools, your other neighboring institutions, and are really becoming the focal points of the county home complex and the comprehensive recreation and park master plan on which it's based. For these reasons and the additional planning efforts that are currently underway by the staff to increase the area's accessibility and public transportation, the American Planning Association is incredibly pleased to officially designate the County Home Complex as a 2017 great public space in America. Congratulations to all of you in Pitt County.